infinite health potential. What is infinite health potential and is that something that is even possible to achieve? Well, I'm Dr. Rob Shire. We're gonna talk about the possibilities of having infinite health potential, but let's break down our terms so we can define and identify them. Infinite means without ending, that goes on forever. Health means a state of physical, optimal, physical, social, uh, mental well-being, not merely the absence of disease, that's according to the World Health Organization. And possibility, potential, is actually, you know, is it possible to exist, right? Potential. So health is a continuum. Health is a dynamic continuum that can ebb and flow according to the steps that we take to take it in one direction or another. We know that uh, there's expanded levels of quality and quantities of health. We know now through the science of epigenetics, or rather the receptor sites on your genes that turn on or off, they either upregulate or downregulate according to your environment. And since your environment is largely how you move, eat, think, sleep, hydrate, all of those things are under your control. So we get to choose how we move, if we move, we get to choose what we eat when we eat, we get to choose what we drink, we get to choose when we go to sleep and what thoughts we think. So with this new understanding in, in, in uh, epigenetics and quantum physics, we know that your health has an infinite potential. And depending on what ingredients you put in and when you do that, will decide which direction your health will take. Now, if we look at human potential and from a performance perspective, we look at record breakers like Usain Bolt, the current world record holder for the 100 meter uh, dash, 9.58 seconds, right? Uh, before that, somebody else held the record and he came along and shattered it. And I'm sure someone's gonna come along at some point and break his record. Michael Phelps, the greatest Olympian of all time, has won 28 Olympic medals, eight gold ones in a single Olympic Games, breaking Mark Spitz's record held in 1972. Wayne Gretzky, the greatest hockey player of all time, had a world shattering number of points, 2,587 points, breaking Gordy Howe's record that was set about 30 years prior to that. The list literally goes on for every time a threshold is made, it then gets broken, further giving evidence to the infinite human potential. Now, I like to talk about the five pillars of health. I say, listen to your mother. Your mother is mother nature. She gave us a guidebook, a rule book to follow. These are fundamental principles. We need to elevate our health consciousness by returning to the fundamentals of what it means to be a happy, healthy, and harmonious human being. So you get to decide, do you move your body? Once upon a time, if you wanted to eat something, you had to go out and go get it, whether it was hunting or gathering berries or fruits, right? You had to go and do that. So now you get to choose when you move and how you move. You get to choose what you put in your body. Is it something from a box with a laundry list of ingredients that you can't pronounce? Or is it some vegetable, a fruit, maybe an animal or a fish that's helping to, to sacrifice to help improve your health and your well-being? These are little things that you can do on a daily basis. What about going to bed? When the sun goes down, that's nature's signal to go find your tribe, huddle up around a fire, and go to sleep, and get your rest and your body to reset its hormone systems so that the next day you can wake up and then go and hunt for some more food. What about drinking water? It's the only uh, thing that Mother Nature gave us. It's quite literally the liquid of life. When you go out into the woods, there's nothing else to drink other than water. 60% of your body's cells are water. The 90% of your discs and 85% of your brain. So water is a critical ingredient to the well-being of health. And stress, lastly, the things that you think about. Unless you are being attacked by a bear or have to evade some danger, you should be able to tolerate and be able to manage your stress through mindfulness, through meditation, through the present time consciousness. Being aware that whatever's, uh, whatever is signaling that stress, think, is this under my control? Can I switch my thoughts? Can I come back to the present? I'm Dr. Rob Shire. We talk about infinite health potential. Everybody has the capacity. Nobody is coming to save you, so take responsibility and implement the five pillars of health. Talk to you soon.